Hi, Aries. This is a reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Inquiring for the week of August 5th through the 11th, 2016. Um, I'm doing a general reading, so see how it feels for you. All of us are children of God and all of us are psychic. So see what personal messages come through from spirit for you. Which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, energies, cards, messages resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, praying, dreaming, inquiring about. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest, greatest good of everyone involved in the situation and so on. So we're all uplifted in love and clarity. Um, I want to say joy and peace and everything awesome. So remember how you ride these energetic waves that come through here, Aries, in the end is up to you. See how it feels. It could be just one nugget, one card, or it could be the whole reading. Um, so let's begin. Let's begin, Aries. You're my alpha. You guys came up in my random order of pulling it out of a hat this week as number one. So let's begin and see how this flow, the spread I'm going to do goes. All right. So I want to begin Aries with with the, actually with the past life's oracle cards. Um, these are very simple. It's usually just like one word and a picture. So let's just give us a, a focal point for Aries, a base energy. So Aries has clarity and healing and love. Let's see what God's source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels and energies of love have for Aries this week, the 5th through the 11th of August, 2016. The highest, greatest good of all. Health, Aries. Health is a focus this week. I want to say yourself is a focus this week. Perhaps bringing your life back into balance is in focus this week because health has to do with balance restored. You know, not doing too much of anything or anything else. Doing just enough of everything so that you have balance. I want to say, even if you're working out, throw in something unusual in there. Something different and keep your body guessing. With your diet, perhaps you need to listen to your body. And listen to uh, what your body is craving when it's actually full. Maybe take your time with eating. I want to say, perhaps... Sounds silly, but get a smaller spoon so you just enjoy every, it's not like you eat like a bird, like us, but like enjoy every little bite. Don't scarf it all down and forget what you had before you got to enjoy it or your body can respond to what it just ate, you know? Allow yourself proper time to sleep at night and rest and recoup, you know? If you're working out, you need to rest so your muscles grow. So your fibers get strong and bond together again. You know, um, when you tear those muscles, they need to repair. So I, I feel like repairing is in order this week. And it's up to you. It feels better to do it. I want to say maybe take a salt bath and get toxins out of your body. That really works. It really works. If anybody is near, by the way, a, uh, like the, um, sensory deprivation tanks, the like salt tanks where you're just suspended in the salt, do it. It's amazing. It's amazing. I mean, make sure you, they have the fresh water there because if you touch your eyes like this, it literally leaves like a layer this thick of salt everywhere. And you're like, but it's, it's an amazing experience, uh, spiritually, physically, everything in between. Um, maybe that was important for someone. All right. Let's, that was a lot off of this little picture here. So let's continue, Aries. I'm going to go to the Romance Angels Oracle cards. One card for Aries for relationships, communication, love, romance. Romantic feelings, Aries. Romantic feelings are going on for Aries. It's cool. You're allowed to be romantic. Go for that shit. It's cool. Your feelings are real. And they're worth exploring. Don't ignore them. Don't ignore them. Even if you just need to write a romantic poem. 
Maybe that was your inspiration. You got your little muse that came into your world to get you itchy to write that poem that's going to affect the world, you know, and inspire and connect with somebody else who got the itchy and wish they had those words to express. You can express it. So maybe there's a writer out there. I feel like stories, like storytellers are important in this card. Perhaps you need to tell your story. Perhaps you need to speak what's in your heart and not hold it in. Because that just holds stuff down and then it explodes and Aries, you know, you know, you guys can like, you know, you know, let it all out all of a sudden and maybe not everyone expects it to be coming. <laughs> so perhaps you need to start to express it. Just, you know, acknowledge it a little bit that it's there. Say hi, romantic feeling. I feel you. I'm not going to stuff you away today because I see that you're there and the butterflies are making me feel like I'm turning into a butterfly out of a caterpillar and I don't know what's happening, but I like it. I feel like it's just sweet energy. This isn't anything heavy, Aries. This is beautiful. This is light. This is fluffy. You're allowed to be light and fluffy every once in a while. Go corny. It's cool. You can be a dork sometimes. It's cool. All right. Well, I want to say like watch a corny romance movie. Watch something that makes you feel goofy and gushy and silly and just you know, go for it. Go for it. I'm going to pull from the Angel Tarot deck. Card for Aries. The Knight of Air, Aries. So, lots going on in the head. Or this is an air sign around you, so it could be a Gemini, Libra, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, but it can just be this personality, this type. It's somebody who, I would say this is you too, Aries. I mean, even though you're a fire sign, Aries are totally intelligent, decisive, maybe not always decisive. Maybe not always. You're good when you make a decision. Idealistic and tireless. No, you're decisive when you want to be. When you want to be, you totally are. But you have to have that clarity of mind or that passion in your ass. Just go for it. Um, so this is events that occur with great... It's a night. So this means information, something happening. It doesn't always have to be a person, although it can be a younger air sign energy. Or it's that younger male like knight getting on his horse and going for a mission you have a mission and you want to go for it you have something that came something that sparked some light bulb that went off in your life and you just need to get on your horse and go for that so it's events that occur with great speed take time aries to carefully review your options and get creative solutions so i want to say sometimes things rush into our life pretty fast so that we're quick on our feet, so that we're sharp. So we have that uh, street smarts, whether it's in our spirit or our situation or, you know, communication, wherever street smarts is involved, it comes up on a whim and it's instinct. And you guys have that. You guys are able to just turn on a dime and handle a situation like that because your instinct is right there. You're not afraid to just go for it. So, I want to say maybe you've been afraid to go for it. Maybe there's, maybe this is an air sign around you. It could, the knight could be a male or a female, a guy or a girl, you know, a man or a woman, but it's someone that uh, has a, a slightly younger energy with how they go about their business. They're not thinking so much when they go about it. So it's part, you have to look at this both ways in a general reading. So don't rush into something you're not sure about. But trust when you go in that you can handle it as it comes. Or trust that when situations come to you, if you're on the other side, if this night is coming to you, trust that you can just handle it. You can handle it. You're the warriors. You can handle anything that comes to you. So if it comes to you and it seems like you're stuck, use your creativity. Look for another way out. Sometimes when that monkey wrench is thrown in, it, it gives you a different you know, it opens your path a little bit, bless you, so you can see another door out that you didn't see before. So, use your mind to tap into your creativity. 
this week rather than get overwhelmed by the situations occurring around you. Use the situations going around you to tap into yourself, to get yourself on your horse and get out in a better way, to see above the situation, to see the bigger picture. And I want to say to have some magic in your world because he's riding a unicorn. This isn't just a normal horse. It's a magical horse. And unicorns come to those who have integrity, who have truth of heart, you know? So you have this magical being, spirit working for you when you're tuned into this beast, when you're riding it and you become one with the beast. When you're on a horse, you become one with the horse. The horse feels everything that you do. There's not a power struggle. It's a working together thing. So I see you working together, your heart and your mind, your body and your soul in this card. I didn't even get to your tarot cards yet. All right, let's continue Aries. I have the medieval Scampini here. Let's do two cards from this deck for you guys. Um, well, let's see, let's, do, let's start. Let's do one card um, to give clarity to this Knight of Air. I see the wind just completely rushing behind him. And you're like dancing into the future. It's a happy card. It's an intense card, but it's happy. There's, there is a lot of creativity in this card. Okay. One card to bring clarity to the night of air. That's the sun, Aries. So be yourself. Find truth. Find your truth. Ride into truth. Um, ride towards what makes you joyful. What makes you want to wake up early and do more of because you're starting to grab your opportunities. Grab the sun when it comes out, you know? Allow yourself to be like a child. Also, focus on children in this card, you know? Dance like a child on your horse. Look at these horses here. You're connected to nature. With this, you're connected to your mirror, you know? Your higher self, your lower self. The inner driver, the outer driver, you, your twin, you, your brothers and your sisters on this earth. It's that beautiful reflection in everyone else seeing you for the beautiful child of God you are, Aries. And you're allowing others to say, you're awesome. And Aries, you're going to say, thank you. I kind of know it. I am awesome. But you're awesome too. You know, it's that beautiful, honest reflection coming back. You know, even if you had some weird down moments, you know, you didn't have your balance before, doing too much of something, your health was going, bring yourself back into balance. Start to listen to what's going on inside of you, you know? You're starting to realize who you came here to be with this card. This is an all oh, this is the sun. The sun's shining for you, Aries. For you. What are you gonna do with it? You know, it's telling you to find your joy. You are protected by spirit. This is your opportunity to come on out. I just lost half of the cards. Hold on. All right, I'm going to pull from the Tarot Illuminati, another card for Aries, for the romantic feelings. So Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like you've maybe been writing poems. <laughs> this is really weird. I feel like you have had these romantic feelings and perhaps you have been writing some poems and you, you didn't need my inspiration in that. Or, you know, they're right beneath the surface. You're planting these seeds and you're waiting for them to grow. You work really hard for something here. You put your soul, you put your heart, you put your hands in the freaking dirt. You're grounded and you're waiting. It's spirit. It's a seven. It's change. It's change in what you're growing. It's making sure the seeds you plant come out and are fruitful. And in this card, they're all around you. They're ready to fall off the tree soon. So start by exploring. Don't push a situation too hard. Allow it to grow. Allow it to unfold. Allow the seasons to change. You know, everything comes into our world as it should. Learn to um, say, like, guard in your surroundings that you have and work with the tools you have and know that this is going to grow and you're going to live in this abundance just for you. So 
explore yourself, be yourself. Make it